I'm Froggy and this is Mashup Monday, where we mash up your favorite videos around a fabsum theme. Like slumber parties, a day at the pool, back to school, holidays, horses? Enjoy and let's get started. an oldie but goodie. I am going to make our no-sew tutu with a few adjustments using tulle and ribbon. I start by folding the tulle to a manageable size. I cut it into strips I cut the strips down to the size that I want so I take a piece of tulle and then I'm gonna fold it in half. Find the center point, go to the ribbon and make a little hole right here. And I reach in, I grab the tool, bring it up through the hole, and then I just pull it tight like that. I continue to do this until it's long enough to fit around the doll. Don't have or want to use ribbon? You can also try hair bands or elastic. Tie it on your doll, and you're done. Happy crossing! From the Barbie Pink Label Collection, here is Misty Copeland, the first African-American female principal dancer with the prestigious American Ballet Theater. Now let's take a closer look. Out of the box, she comes with a doll stand and is wearing her Firebird costume. With a red and orange tulle headpiece, gold glitter eyeshadow, a red bodysuit with a tulle skirt and flesh tone ballet shoes. There are also real feathers attached to the skirt and she is sewn into the bodysuit. Her calf muscles are more muscular than your average Barbie. She has articulation at the shoulders, the elbow, and wrist. There is movement in the upper torso, full rotation at the hip, turns at the upper thigh, and bends at the knee. Even the top of the doll stand can move so the doll can be displayed in different poses. Misty Copeland joins Barbie's list of sheroes, being a woman who inspires us all to reach higher. Since this doll is in the Pink Label collection, she will be available where most Barbie dolls are sold for $29.99, as well as the thebarbiecollection.com. What I love most about this doll is that it is based on an actual person who's done amazing things, inspiring us all to reach for the stars. And that's our collection for now. by the American Girl of the Year, Gabriella, I am going to make an easy to store ballet studio using a trifold, printables from our blog, scrapbook paper, wooden dowels and popsicle sticks, acrylic paint, and glue. I start by measuring the trifold to fit the doll. I like to make the walls a few inches above the doll's head, whether I'm making it for a 10 to 12 inch doll or an 18 inch. And if you are making this for an 18 inch doll, you may need a second piece of cardboard for the floor. Then cut on the line drawn, cover it with paper. I covered the outside with a brick print, then used a light gray on the inside with a white brick on one side. I printed printables from our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, used strips of paper for trim, I used gray on one side and white on the other to give the illusion of a shadow. Then added small strips and metallic paper around the edge to finish the windows. 
Cover the leftover cardboard with scrapbook paper to make a large open studio with a great view. Cut wooden dowels and popsicle sticks. Glue the wooden dowel to the center of the popsicle stick. Repeat to make two to three. Paint them. Take more wooden dowels and glue them going across to make a ballet bar, giving the dolls a large New York ballet studio that can quickly fold flat for easy storage. And we can quickly turn this ballet studio into a studio apartment by adding one of our doll beds and using the ballet bar as a headboard. And this is the bed from our doll tumbler room video. Add a couch from our sofa 2 video. A small plant. The coffee table from our retro chairs video. And the desk from our doll craft room video for a multi-purpose table to make a stylish New York apartment. And for a final touch, I use stickers to spell ballet on the wall. And you're done. Happy crafting! I am going to make a martial arts room for a doll using a recycled cardboard box, skinny sticks, binder clips, wooden dowels, craft paint, craft foam, scrapbook paper, a shampoo bottle and plastic jar, printable posters from our blog, and glue. I start by cutting out one side of the box to create an opening. Fold in and glue the sides, cut out the top to let in more light, Glue on leftover cardboard to reinforce the walls. Use scrapbook paper, contact paper, or paint for the walls and flooring. I chose to use scrapbook paper for the floor. Cover one of the walls with a brick printable from our blog. Covered the back wall with a foil scrapbook paper and painted the other side wall. Then I lined the room with strips of black paper. And I chose to extend the mirror and then add a geometric pattern across the top using the paper. Now that the room is built, it's time to add a few fun extras. Glue together pieces of craft foam to make a mat. Cut three skinny sticks, paint them, open a binder clip, and put the skinny stick inside. Repeat for the others. Glue them to the wall. Lay wooden dowels on top to be a bow staff rack. Remove the label from an empty shampoo bottle and plastic jar. Glue the shampoo bottle to the top of the plastic jar to make a freestanding punching bag. Cut out a few printable posters from our blog, attach them to the wall, but what if we would like for this room to have more than one purpose? Just remove the mat, the punching bag, run the wooden dowels through the openings of the binder clips, switch out the posters to make a ballet studio with a bar, and you're done. Happy crafting! Like an alien in love, love, love.